Guys, it's just Rico Zali, super bien. Hello everyone, trust that in great. We welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by. If you're a returning subscriber, if this is the first time of seeing this face, teaching you French, kindly click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever a new video is dropped. What you do today, I'm going to teach you how to identify and fill a French form. Definitely, you know how to identify and fill the English form, isn't it? So, after this lesson, you will be able to fill a French form without blanking. Can we? So, let's get started. We bien the form, most times the French form usually carry the name of promptly le formulaire which means fill the form and uh, you can also find the uh, renseignement personnel which means personal information so personal information which goes on the form you would have something like no n o m no which means surname so you have to fill in your surname or sometimes you could find a uh, non de famille non de famille which means family name that's also me your surname so you write your surname and on the parenthesis you could have a um, letter majuscule letter majuscule means uppercase capital letter and, and some you could find it um letter minuscule which is a small letter which is a lower case crayon means your first name so when you say crayon you just write your first name no surname crayon first name as means age you write your age and do not forget to add a and s after the age for example you are 50 years old you write 50 and a and s i think you're writing it in words it's, it's you write it in words and add a and s with sex sex that is your gender male or female in french you write masculine or feminine sometimes this could be abbreviated by writing just m and f you can separate or on the line with the gender that you have um that's the naissance that's the naissance which means date of birth date of birth you would need to write your the year the month and the day beneath the option you might find any 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 means year so you write the year for example you were born in 1950 in words you would say mean of some second mean of some second but you most of the time you write it in a figure 1950 1950 then you move on to the month month you find it there moi m o i s moi you write your month janvier february mars uh you have your day which is ju 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 day you write your lundi mardi mercredi eo nous avons we have lieu de naissance lieu de naissance lieu de naissance means place of birth place of birth where were you giving birth so you have to write the name of the city or the name of the state it's a big state so you write your state you could find out something like ville ville which means city you write the name of the city you are in or uh, we have an eta civil eta civil means marital status and sometimes some forms carries situation familiar situation familiar also means marital status and your options can be you could be, maybe you're single you write celibataire celibataire whether you're masculine or feminine you write celibataire if you're married you write mari mari okay if you're feminine you're a lady and you want to write mari you, you add an extra e on the after the mari um divorcee divorcee you add an extra e if you're a woman uh, separé, you add an extra e if you're a woman. Divorce means divorced. Separé means separated, and we have both, both, which means a widower for the man, both widower, we both widow for a woman, both widow for a woman. So you come in your address, you put in, you fill in your address, and it could also be address of what the spelling differs from the English so the French one is A D R E S S E address fill in your address we have um you can also find uh, numéro de portable numéro de portable simply means your phone number because in your phone number it is sometimes it's could be written as a numéro de téléphone numéro de téléphone also means your phone number profession ou métier profession means 
what you do for a living, your profession, métier, your feeling, some forms carry profession, some carry métier. So it, and either of it so that you find on your French form what means what you do for a living. So you fill in what you do for a living. Address courier. Address courier simply means your email address. Some forms carry just courier. So you write your courier, for example, uh, mine is French Rain arrobas gmail.com that arrobas means ask in french if you are to write speak it if you are to say it you say arrobas but when you are writing you just put in the symbol french crime arrobas gmail.com a version and safer giving you a tip facultative facultative means optional so when you are filling the french form you put the find uh, something in the bracket facultative it means optional and you can find them obligatoire obligatoire means um, compulsory you have to fill that particular uh, option merci trust you learned something today kindly like share comment and subscribe you did the first time of seeing this video merci et à tout à